have a lot of extra paint left on my palette from the last painting. What can I do with this? Um, I'm just gonna kind of have some fun here and make an agave, um, sort of Southwestern looking. Uh, it's interesting because I can really use these colors. I might be able to finish using all of these colors here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit, a lot of my yellow and my blue kind of on my brush at the same time. And, oh, I didn't draw anything out for you guys, but this is basically what we're gonna do. You're gonna do kind of like a teardrop. Remember when I was talking about using the fat part of your brush and then letting it come up to be skinny. All right, I'm gonna let that dance kind of happen a couple times here. Grabbing this paint, loading it up on my brush. Gotta kinda think of what an agave looks like. So I just made these like kinda triangle shapes. In the center here, I'm gonna start filling these in. Um, and I'm just, without rinsing my brush, I'm just grabbing some white paint here. And I'm just going to apply that white paint, again, letting it be, my strokes be fat to skinny. Fat to skinny. I'm gonna paint over that previous mark there. Just whatever works for you to fill that space. Kind of, kind of getting it, getting a agave shape here. Now the agave has a bloom that comes out. So now I'm gonna grab um, my round brush and actually I think for you guys, you should grab your smallest brush that you have, get a little bit of water on it. Um, come over here to like where you've made your greens and roll that water around a little bit. The more water you add to your paint, the more fluid it is. I don't wanna drip on my painting which means I'm gonna be able to make a longer line. So with this, I'm gonna make a whimsical line. And I suggest for you guys to maybe do this with pencil first if you want to. Hmm. But I think I'm gonna make my, I think I'm gonna kinda of go like this here. There. And then, um, Put that aside. Now I'm gonna grab my larger brush here and I'm gonna create my flower, which this is gonna be kind of interesting because it's sort of a teardrop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place my brush down and push and pull up as I, as I go, down, up. I'm kind of, it's kind of a push, twist, up. Push, twist, up. Push, twist, up push, twist up, push, twisting. Well, that one turned out kind of weird looking, but that's okay. There. All right, now on the outside of my agave here, I really kind of want to pop it with some color. So one of the, my favorite things about the agave is this, um, this shape that it has. You can use whatever brush you want to use, but um, it has like a, a toothy shape to it. And I love how, as I'm drawing this toothy shape in here, it's picking up my other colors. I think that's, that's fun. 
I'm gonna draw another toothy shape right here. And I'm running out of my white paint, which is good because that was my goal to use all my paint. Add some white. You might want to practice this mark making on your paper towel before putting it on your, your canvas. It's just a very light touch. I just went a little crazy on you guys. But whatever you feel like, whatever touch you feel like your painting needs is, is great. I need more white. No, blue. And this is our, excuse me, little fun way to kind of quickly use up the rest of your paint. Thanks for watching.